Okay, this question comes with a warning. This is an extension problem, uh, integration by substitution, um, and it will incorporate some of the knowledge of core 4, so include some trig and includes this x is equal to cosec theta, which you won't meet until later. Okay, so potentially this could be a core 4 question, but I thought I'd throw it into, you, into the mix now so that you can see the highest level of problem that I've seen at this stage. So, this is the integral between root 2 and 2 of 1 over x squared, square root of x squared minus 1 dx. It doesn't look particularly horrible, but it does take a while to go through. So, it goes through the same process as usual, so see if you can follow it. So, x is equal to cosec theta. Okay, now cosec is 1 over sine. Okay, so this is 1 over sine. Now, the stage that we must always go through is find dx by d theta. Differentiate the substitution. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to use the quotient rule. So the bottom times the derivative of the top is just 0. Take away the top times the derivative of the bottom. So we have one minus 1 times cos theta on the top over the bottom squared, so sine squared theta. So this is minus cosine over sine squared, which is minus cos theta over sine theta times 1 over sine theta. Okay, so that's just another way of writing it, expanding it. Now minus cos over sine is minus cot. So that's minus cot, and I've got 1 over sine, so that's cosec. So minus cot theta, cosec theta. So that is dx by d theta. So I can then multiply both sides by d theta. And I have a replacement for dx. Okay? So that's the first stage. I then have limits to change. So we're going to change the limits. Now, when x is 2, oh, when x is 2, I have 2 equals cosec theta. Cosec is 1 over sine, so that means that sine is 1 half. Okay? So, making sure that we're in radians, because all integrals must be performed in radians. I can inverse sign both sides, and so that means that theta is pi over 6. Now I'm going to do the same thing with root 2. So root 2 is equal to cosec theta. So 1 over root 2 is equal to sine theta. So theta, if you inverse sine both sides, you get pi over 4. Okay? So we now have limits changed as well. So, this is the integral between pi over 4 and pi over 6 of 1 over x squared, so cosec squared theta, We've also got x squared minus 1 inside a square root, so cos x squared theta minus 1 square rooted. And we've replaced dx with minus cot theta cosec theta d theta. So you can see that this is absolutely ghastly, right? But, once we then start inputting uh, trig identities, this starts to simplify down. So, if we start with uh, sine squared plus cos squared is 1, okay, then I want to get to cosec squared, so I'm going to divide both sides by sine squared, so I'm going to get 1 plus cot squared theta is cosec squared theta. 
So that means that cosec squared theta minus 1 is cot squared. So if that is cot squared, then I'm going to use that. I'm going to bring that minus sign out to the front. So we've got 1 over cosec squared theta, square root of cot squared theta, okay? So times by cot theta, cosec theta, d theta. Now, cot squared square rooted, they cancel each other out. I've then got cot theta cancelling with that cot theta there. I've also got a cosec squared and a cosec. So that cosec cancels with one of the cosecs on the bottom of the fraction. So I've now got minus the integral between pi over 4 and pi over 6 of 1 over cosec theta d theta. So you can see it has cancelled down. Now, 1 over cosec is sine. And you'll also notice, or maybe you have noticed or maybe you haven't, that pi over 6 is actually less than pi over 4. So we've got the higher limit on the top of the integral than on the bottom. So you can flip these limits around as long as you then stick a minus sign in front. Okay? That's one of the things you can actually do. We very rarely actually use that process, but it is a process that works. So I can flip the limits around, and I stick a minus sign in front, but that cancels with that minus sign. So I've got rid of the minus sign. So, this is the integral I now have. So I'm evaluating. Sine theta integrates to minus cosine theta between pi over 6 and pi over 4. So this is minus cos of pi over 4. Take away minus cos of pi over 6. Okay? So cos of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So minus root 2 over 2. Then you've got cos of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. So plus root 3 over 2. And so we can write that as one half root three minus root two. And that would be my final answer. So as I said at the beginning of this video, this is harder than what you would meet in core three. Okay? Uh, this requires core four trigonometry knowledge. Okay? But once you've learnt that trigonometry knowledge and you've learnt integration by substitution, then this question should be accessible to you.